Let's look at this question. I'm going to assume that you've already read the question. So read through it rapidly and then try solving it. Right? Pipes A, B and C can fill a tank in 30, 60 and 120 minutes respectively. B and C are kept open for 10 minutes and then pipe B is shut while pipe A is open. So now A and C will be kept open. Pipe C is closed 10 minutes before the tank overflows. How long does it take to fill the tank? I'm going to solve this in two methods. One very unconventionally or slightly differently atypically and then come back to the standard template method and then solve that. Okay. Go ahead and make a simple assumption. Let us assume the tank has a capacity of 120 liters. Okay. Now pipe A can fill this in 30 liters, 30 minutes or pipe A fills at the rate of 4 liters per minute. Pipe B can fill this in 60 minutes or pipe B fills at the rate of 2 liters per minute. Pipe C fills at the rate of 1 liter per minute. Now let us come to the question. Pipe A, B and C are kept open for 10 minutes. B and C together they contribute 2 plus 1, 3 liters per minute. They are kept open for 10 minutes, therefore filling 30 liters. So the first 10 minutes, 30 liters get filled. Then B is shut down while A is open. So now in this phase, B is gone, A and C operate together. A and C will operate at 4 liters plus 1 liter at the rate of 5 liters per minute. We do not yet know how long they are kept open for. So they will fill at the rate of 5 liters per minute. We do not know how long they are kept open for. Keep that aside. Let us go to the third step. Pipe C is closed 10 minutes before the tank overflows. So in the last 10 minutes, during this spell, only A is opened. A fills at the rate of 4 liters per minute. We have already seen that. In 10 minutes, A will fill 40 liters. So we have this tank. In the first 10 minutes, 30 liters get filled. In the last 10 minutes, 40 liters get filled. This is by B and C. This is by A. So what is outstanding? This is what we need to figure out. This gets filled by A and C. Total tank capacity is 120 liters. 70 has been accounted for or this is 50 liters. A and C together fill at the rate of 5 liters per minute. They have to fill 50 liters or they will take 10 minutes. So this gets the bottom 30 liters gets filled in five, 10 minutes. This gets filled in 10 minutes. This gets filled in 10 minutes or totally we have 30 minutes to fill the tank. Right? So now we start this whole thing by saying let's assume the tank has a capacity of 120 liters. Why did we make that assumption? Because we know that in these questions tank capacity is not material. So you can make any assumption. That's a starting point. Why did we choose 120 liters? The simple LCM of 30, 60 and 120. If you assume 120 liters as a capacity, then how much does A fill, B fill, C fill? They all come out a nice natural number liters per minute. Rates are very manageable numerically and we like that. We like to deal with something filling at 4 liters per minute rather than filling at 1.635 liters per minute. So we choose numbers so that we deal with natural numbers. What is the other method of doing this? In one minute, A will fill 1 by 30 of the tank. In one minute, B will fill 1 by 60 of the tank. One minute, C will fill 1 by 120 of the tank. For 10 minutes, B and C operate together. Just 10 minutes, 1 by 60 plus 1 by 120. For some time, A and C operate together. Final 10 minutes, only A operate together. So the total tank filled is 1. Therefore, use this to find this time. This is the algebraic way of doing it by thinking how much of the tank gets filled in one minute and then building from there. Again, a very reasonable method. Stick, know this, but the other method where you assume a tank capacity, that is useful as well. So don't, don't, don't forget that that is useful.